Well, you know, we're just talking about how hot it's going to be in some places, but we're going to look ahead to hot drinks because the calendar says we're turning into fall soon. And uh, cider is a very hot drink in the Bay Area. And here today to share Yelper's favorite local apple-based beverage, Abby Schwartz from uh, San Francisco Community Manager for Yelp. And, and Abby, you know, it is kind of a disconnect right now, but, but we can look forward to colder well, temperatures. We're going to talk about some soft, hot ciders and okay. some hard, cold ciders today ah, okay, that are also equally as refreshing. So, Fantastic. Uh, okay, we're going to start in the North Bay. Yes, so the good thing about cider is mm -hmm. it's gluten-free, so it's super oh, popular fantastic. and uh, farm to table. It's all those hot buzzwords sure. right now with food. So Devoto Orchards and Gardens is one of those mm -hmm. popular places. Um, so you don't actually go visit the gardens or the orchards to enjoy oh, this cider. Okay. So they're, they're <coughs> at me. farmers markets and you can find the cider at Whole Foods or specialty shops. Oh, okay. But Fantastic. it's a family farm and Sebastopol's where all the really great apples are grown yes. in the Bay Area. So you don't have to drive that windy <laughs> drive up to Sonoma right. County to rural areas. <laughs> Just go to the farmers market to find these Devoto apples. And the fall is, is one of the times when they really harvest a lot of apples. Exactly. So yeah. timing's really great right now. Mm -hmm. And so they do these boutique ciders as well. So it's a family operation. Oh. So the next Fantastic. generation doing these wonderful ciders that pair really well with paella, they pair well with savory foods. Ah, that's wonderful. And so the 1976 is a really popular one. That's when the uh, parents went back to their family <laughs> farm. They moved from Berkeley to the uh -huh. family farm and decided to get back into the so business. So it was a magical year. Yes, yeah, so I okay. recommend the 1976 and Yelpers are very uh, big fans of their mm -hmm. um, offerings at the farmer's markets as okay, well. Okay, let's go to the South Bay now. Tell us yes, about Yes, Rabbit's Foot Meadery. Rabbit's Foot, I love it. And Red it. Branch Cider. So they're one uh -huh. and the same. It's just an offshoot. Yeah. So you can actually go to Sunnyvale and go to their tasting room and sample. So we like to, as Yelpers say, it's a tasting room. It's not a bar. <laughs> just go and have a pint. Yeah. But they do more than just apples. They do raspberry, hard, oh, really? yeah, black cherry. Oh. And again, this is hard cider. So, right. Or you can try some mead if you're more of a wine drinker. Some mead. Yeah, that, honey that's uh, honey-based, isn't it? Honey wine. So it's on the sweeter side. Uh -huh. It's just super unique and it's in Sunnyvale. It's kind of in an industrial parkway. So it's one of those Yelp hidden gems that you would only find uh, through a local expert, through like a Yelper. But they do really wonderful flavors. They do pear as well. Do they really? They're just doing a hard apricot up until later earlier this week. Well, that's fantastic. So you get away from the apple cider and try a wide variety of fruits. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. Yeah, have a little let's, taste. let's move across the uh, bay to the East Bay. So if you're not into like going to bars or tasting rooms mm -hmm. or you don't want to track it down at a farmer's market, Farm Curious is a new option for uh, mm. the DIYers at home. So, ah, okay. so it's, it's actually a business that was run by a woman who has a full-time job, but she's really into urban homesteading, uh -huh. which is, I don't know if you know much about urban homesteading. I don't I didn't know, know much at all. Either, but, <laughs> so it's basically people that are interested in producing their own food, oh. reducing their ecological footprint, eating seasonally, and but they don't want to abandon their urban lifestyle. It's all good things. Yeah. yeah, so Farm Curious can help you do that. So you're going to take, you could take a class, whether it's cheese making, fermenting, making oh, your own fantastic. wine. fantastic. They're actually hoping to do a uh, wine making class, which would include cider yeah. in October. So if you're what interested a in taking idea. a uh, fermentation class, you can do uh -huh. that. Or you can contact Farm Curious and get your own DIY kit. If you cannot wait to make your own cider, yeah. contact them and they can send you a <laughs> kit with recipes so you can make your own so wine So you can get cider. started immediately. Yes, okay, yes. and this is called Farm Curious. That's fantastic. In Oakland, yes. I bet it's very popular with the Yelpers. Yes. Anybody that wants to make their own food is a foodie. Yes. Yeah. Yelpers love of DIY course. projects. Of course. All right. Now let's, let's bring it back to San Francisco here. Yes. Outer Lands and the Outer Sunset, really mm -hmm. close to Ocean Beach. Yeah. So there's a very popular brunch spot. They're known for their Dutch apple pancakes oh. and the San Francisco $4 toast <laughs> with jam and, and, and you know, honey. Uh -huh. But this is also a really popular place to get. They brew, brew their own cider and it is ginger, lemon, apple cider so this is a hot oh, that cider sounds great it's it is and this is a soft cider so you mm -hmm. can drink it on its own or you can have it spiked with bourbon if you want a cider cocktail. So you can go either way. Okay. And one Yelper said, in addition, their hot ginger apple cider is something I can probably drink jug full, <laughs> jug full of. It warms you up while giving you an extra little spice that is refreshing and amazing. I agree. There is something about apple cider on a cold day or evening that it's just warm. really hits the spot. And it, you're not going to overdo it on cider. Right. You, you never hear of people getting too crazy <laughs> on a, a pint or two of cider. Right. Not yeah. only that, it's gluten-free, and that, that's a real, real big deal to Yelpers and people mm -hmm. in the community who and want to keep it healthy. And it's easier to justify if you have a little extra drink. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Abby, thank you so much for thank sharing you. everything we need to know about cider. Here in the Bay Area, local we, cider. As we turn the calendar here. All right, thanks a lot, Abby. Cheers. We'll be right back.